Follow me. Okay, let's put some more in our art journal that we're making out of a magazine. I chose to use a Vogue. I have another video. This is video number two in the series and the first one shows you how you can put magazines together, which magazines are good to use, and then what you use them for. And this time I thought I would just um, do another page spread and show you some other options and ideas. Um, on this page I had talked last time about making these into like three ladies either with different hats or angels, three angels or something. So I'm going to play around with that. I'm going to make this page my page for journaling. And I did notice that from wear and tear that this page is almost kind of loose um, in the book. So I just wanted to show what you do when you come across that. When you're working really far into your book and you know maybe you're to the middle these pages that have gotten a lot of use and wear and tear um, maybe you're getting loose and you can repair that so I was going to just show you a quick demo on how to do that. Okay there's several ways that you can fix the seam of a book like this. Um, you can use tissue paper and Mod Podge so you could cut a strip of tissue paper and Mod Podge it down. That's going to give it a little bit of strength and stability. Paper of course is going to wear out over time from use this is a paper tape. This is um, paper tape that you could get at the hardware store. It is used for tape and texture for drywall, for um, doing drywall. So I'm going to just cut a strip of this paper tape and then I'm going to adhere it down that gutter. And I think because it's kind of, it's kind of thick and I don't need it to be that thick, I'm even going to cut it in half and I will have an extra left over for repairing another page if I have another page that's loose in the book. And I'm doing this before I decorate because this paper tape will take um, paint and coloring and all kinds of mediums on top of it. So you might as well do it first and then it'll get covered in your decoration process. So I'm just going to put that down the center of the book and you could use uh, Aliens Glue, you could use Mod Podge, I think I'm going to use Mod Podge this time. So I am going to fold it slightly, fold it slightly, just so that it lays nice and flat in that crease. And I'm going to put down a bead of Mod Podge down that seam. Again, you can use glue or um, anything that you would like to use. I'm just showing it with Mod Podge. And I'm going to spread it out and make it nice and thin and even coat. And it's just like doing collage. I'm going to just lay that in into that crease and go over the top of it. And then do the same on this side. pushing down in that center and I'm going to let it dry. So I'm going to put something behind it here to hold this up a little so that it sticks nice and firm to both pages and then I'm going to let that dry. Now you don't have to do this on every single page. This is just if you have a page that seems to be loose where it's bound into the book. It's just to give it some extra stability. If your book starts falling apart over time, you know, after a couple of years of having it to look at or or even to play in, just go in and make some repairs to it and just put it back together. That's It's an art journal and it's meant for playing in, so don't worry about it if pages start to get loose. And I don't like to heat set these to dry. I like to let them air dry. If you heat set it, you're going to wrinkle that page. So while it's drying, I'm going through my collage elements in my uh, my uh, my file cabinet. I keep a folder when I cut things out of magazines or tear them out. I keep them in folders. I've talked about this before in some of my other collage videos. So when you're going through magazines and there's fashion and there's hats and there's glasses, different hats and things. I keep a folder that's specifically for hats and one for clothing 
and this this fun uh, Victorian dress is in one of the folders I think that would be really cool on one of these girls I may put this um, bustier bodice on this girl here I may make her um, have a really cool flowy skirt and I think I might black out this side of it leave her there make her an angel and possibly make one or two of these girls over here angels so um, it's going to be a journaling page and that's what I like to do and one of the things I wanted to talk about is a reason that you could use this book aside from just playing in it and making layouts and making art um, a lot of us find that we really like to find different sayings and positive sayings and messages and affirmations and things that you come across on the internet like social media Facebook all kinds of things pop up and they have a really cool cute positive saying on it so it's something that it made you smile it made you happy and you liked it so what I do is I keep a notebook and every time I see a positive saying or an affirmation or a, just something a meme or something that really hits home to me that I really like I write it down in that notebook I have a section for that with just loose leaf notebook pages I write it down then when I come into this art journal that I made from magazine I make my art in my book and when it's done and my collages are done and it's all pretty on the page I find one of those sayings and then I do my lettering on the page so like so like this page from last time I did the words take flight be strong that wasn't a saying that I got from somewhere it was just a saying out of my head but this is what I do with it and I add them to the page with lettering different lettering practicing my lettering with a paint pen and my point of this is when this book is completely filled with all this time I've spent playing around doing backgrounds doing collage making funky characters painting drawing doing whatever I want to do in here and making art and filling it with sayings I'm gonna have a really fun book that I can decorate the cover and when I'm having a raunchy bad day and everything is going wrong and I'm sad and things are getting on my nerves I can pull out that book and I will have an entire book to flip through I can read all those things that had touched my heart before when I saw them and read them they'll be all in my book with my artwork that just is fun and free and exciting if there's something sad or dark or something that you're working on you can put that in here too but it's a great place to be able to come back and have this book just just strictly be sayings and artwork so there's a suggestion you can use it for journaling um, things that you want to write about like in this art journal book I do a lot of journaling you know like on the page I journal to myself it's stuff that I'm working on stuff that I'm thinking about feeling dealing with but on this particular one I'm making this one fun and funky art cool collages neat backgrounds different art techniques that I'm going to try maybe some drawings that I do and I'm going to fill it with all those sayings and memes that I've collected and then I'll have a great flip book that I can throw on my coffee table and pick up and look through when I'm having a bad day so there's just there's a little idea for you for something to use these magazine journals for okay now that my strip is dry I can take my scissors and I can come over to the end of it and cut that straight across top and bottom cut the excess strip off where I fixed my seam and now you just want to fold it over and press down and give it a really good burnishing so it creases really well your book lies flat again and that page that was maybe having some issues is now solid as can be so take a piece of um, drywall tape it's very inexpensive get it at your local Lowe's Ace Hardware uh, Home Depot get a roll of that use a half half wide strip of it down a piece if you're having a loose page Okay, so I've trimmed this out. I love that, love that little bustier piece. And I'm going to put it right here. It fits perfectly on the waistline of this girl. And now I'm going to take my pencil 
and I'm going to just draw where her shoulders end for where to cut those straps and then I'm going to trim those straps across so now it fits on here just right and the straps come where they should how cute is that and I'm going to make a really fun and funky skirt for her. So I'm going to cover the background with paint. I'm going to leave her ankles and her feet so she's got some shoes on. But I'm going to cover her body here. I'm going to leave her arms out. And then I'm going to cover these girls. So that's I've got a vision for what I want to use that particular girl for. Okay, I'm going to use a Laguna green, it's like a turquoise color, and a denim blue. And just like before, I'm just going to put a little bit down and just start covering up that background that I don't want. And spreading it around, doing some um, dry brush techniques. And I do it dry brush because for one thing, I don't want my magazine pages to get super, super wet. So I do it with a dry paintbrush. It covers really nice that way. And it's easy to just spread that paint around and it doesn't get your pages like crazy ridiculously wet. And I also like to put a piece of paper or plastic underneath the next page. So then you've got, it protects the pages that come after it. And I'm never very specific when I do my backgrounds because they're going to be layered. They're going to have stuff added to them everywhere. So I'm just worrying right now about getting this color blocked in and getting some color down on the page. Go across it in different ways. That makes that really nice, cool color blocked pattern. And I'm going to make her, I'm going to do her body up to about here, about to the waistline. So I've got, I've got an idea. I'm not sure if it's going to work, but I'm going to give it a try. So I'm just um, basically covering stuff up and leaving her arms and her hands. And then I'm going to cover these up over here. And I'm going right over that tape I put on to protect the pages. Make sure, I, make sure I don't cover that foot that I want in there. Okay. And just spreading that paint and once I move it down, I'm always light handed so that way when you come across and you do a little bit of lines going a different direction for texture and all that, it's it's not moving that paint off of that page. It's just moving the paint enough to put a layer down. So I'm light handed when I paint. Okay, so my other girls are covered in the background and all that's left so we're doing that negative image covering and that's what's left. So I've just got my girl's head, her torso, and her feet. Okay, and I'm going to let that dry. And again, air dry because if you let it dry or you try to dry it with a heat tool, the paint will bubble on a magazine page. So just let it air dry. Be patient. Okay, now my page is dry and I'm going to use a napkin for her skirt. So I have peeled my napkin layer down to just the single layer with the design. And I'm going to put this over the image. And as you've seen in some of my other videos, I'm going to use my water brush to mark out and remove the parts that I don't want. So I'm going to take my water brush, I'm going to lay that napkin up to her waist where I want the skirt to be, and I'm going to make a watermark in the shape of a skirt. So I can see her feet underneath, 
and I can see where her body and waist ends and so I'm just kind of blocking out the shape of a skirt and I'm going to peel that away. It comes apart really easily once it's wet. And I'm removing the parts of the napkin that are not needed. It looks like I didn't get a spot wet enough, so I'm just laying it back into place and taking my water brush and going over that spot. I didn't have enough water squeezed out of my water brush. So there it comes. Okay, so now I have my skirt out of my floral napkin and look how interesting that looks. I love it. It's very wild fashion, but it's going to be beautiful. So now I'm going to take some Mod Podge and I'm going to put this napkin down onto the magazine page. I'm putting just a regular thin layer, just enough to stick it down. And then I'm putting it into place. And then I'm going to put Mod Podge over the top, a layer over the top, so that it adheres down to the page. And one of the nice parts about doing these magazines, when you're using your acrylic paint or your Mod Podge, they do wrinkle while they're wet. And the strange part about it is, is once they completely air dry, they go flat on their own. So you end up with flat pages. So don't worry about that. I, I try not to get the page too wet, but using Mod Podge and using paint, the page does get wet and it does wrinkle, but don't worry about it because it will dry out and it'll dry flat. Especially I found with Vogue magazine that works really well because the pages are relatively thick. A thinner magazine, you might have a little wrinkling. So here's her cool looking skirt. I absolutely love it. The blue background kind of comes through. The little soft pink shows. Then I'm going to glue down her little bustier bodice onto it. And look at how this is coming together. That was a Chanel ad. And now look at it. It's Okay, and while that skirt is still drying a bit, I went ahead and put some leaves from that same napkin design over the edge where the bodice ended to try and um, cover up, I like the sleeves of her blouse, but this was just, um, wasn't cohesive and those leaves match what's in the skirt. So I like that. So I went ahead and did that. Now I'm gonna take a white pencil and I'm gonna make her into an angel. So I'm gonna draw lightly and loosely some angel wings on the back. that I'm going to paint on okay Let's see if you can see that I drew on some angel wings to give her some wings Okay, I'm going to take a round brush. This is a, um, a round number six brush. It doesn't really matter what size, but that's what I had. So I'm watering down some white paint. It's just white acrylic paint and I'm watering it down so that it's a little more translucent. And I'm just loading some on my brush. And I'm gonna come in here and paint her wings. So I'm just going to Give her her angel wings, and I'm not being, again, I'm dry brushing. You know me, I love my dry brush technique. Look how they look like feathers. When you do dry brush technique, it looks like feathers. So I'm just taking that and just making little swoopies and making the feathers. And then I'll go back in later with a paint pen and I'll add in more detail to them. To each feather but for the just initial part I've got an angel wing. 
So I'm going to do that to the other side, same thing, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So look how pretty that looks. Look at those wings, angel wings. So you just transformed this Chanel, or I just transformed this Chanel girl into an angel. Look how cute. How fun. And it's not done. I'm still going to continue to work on it, but that's the basis of it. I think I'm going to paint over her shoes with some color. I am going to go around the entire thing with um, a paint pen to outline her. And um, I may or may not do something with this background because I may just use it for putting a saying or putting some journaling. I may add some uh, a flower or some decoration to her hair or a halo or something. But there's the basic start. And this is just to show you, you can use napkins on your page. You can use pieces out of a magazine to collage. You can use paint. You can um, repair your book. So it's just one more step for further. And then on this page, I think I'm going to do um, this girl over here. And I'm not sure if I'm going to leave those girls or not, but I'm going to play around with this and I'll come back and show you what I did and I'll explain it. Just for the length of the, the video, I'll explain what I did. But I'm going to make these two pages cohesive. So I'll use the same background colors to color this background and then see what collage I come up with. It's your art journal. Play in it. Have fun in it. Decorate it any way you want. This is just to give you some general ideas and to show you how you can take a simple Vogue layout for a Chanel ad and look how much we changed it and now it's something completely different. So hope you enjoyed that and I'll show you this page spread when I am finished and explain what I did. Okay, so here's how my angel turned out. I put a little bird on her shoulder. It is a green finch. I did a halo just with a paint pen. I added some details to the wings with white paint pen. She's got pink glitter dots on her, um, on her leaves and on her skirt and then pink glitter shoes and then I added some dots in her skirt and then I also added some color in there. So I thought I'd show you real quick how I did that. Um, this over here I did exactly the same. So what I did was I blocked out the two girls that were behind. I made her wings. I used the same napkin and trimmed it out to fit over her, her sweater and covered her with the same napkin as the girl's dress over here. I um, painted the wings like I did before. And so what I wanted to show you on this one, I added some color. And what I used were um, Faber-Castell Pit Artist pens. They are wonderful for, they blend, they're water soluble, and they're great for adding little touches of color. So if you go in here with a pit pen over this dried Mod Podge on the napkin and blend it with your finger, you can add some pops of color. So I'm adding in some places where there's some teal. See how I'm doing that? And see how that's what I did through here. I added some pops of color. And that's what I'm going to do on this side to make it match. Is just add in a little highlight of teal here and there. And it doesn't have to be over the whole thing. You're just bringing out a little bit of color here and there. I love that. Okay. And then I can do a little up here on her little leaf that I put on her head and I'm going to go in with a little bit of of pink because I added a little bit of pink to the other side too. Just a touch of this hot pink color. Again Faber-Castell pit pen and just putting it in a few places and then blending it out with my finger to make some pops of color on that napkin. It just blends right out and now it's not so, so dull. Okay. See that? Now it's got some little pops of color. So I'm going to go back in with a Posca, a fine tipped Posca pen. And I'm going to do the same thing to the wings that I did over there. I'm going to add some highlights and some the little veins to the wings. So 
same as I did over there. These wings, these feathers look really real and neat. And I'm going to come in here and around this lace like on that one I did some dots. So I'm going to put some white dots so there's a little bit of pop of color just that matches the other side. And I'm just going to decorate it up. And then I'm going to go around this with black Posca paint pen to outline her and then the two will match each other. Okay, my two angels are done and now she matches the other one. She's got the same glitter and the same color, pops of color and dots and the same halo. So they're done and ready to go. So now what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to um, do a little stenciling. I wasn't going to, but I think I'm going to put a mandala stencil down here. Just connecting the two pages and I've put three different colors of paint on my palette. I want it to be pinks, a bright pink like what's on their glitter and then a lighter pink and then I'm going to do a little I think tiny pops of purple. So how to do that is keeping your stencil down and you spout your color on you don't want to be heavy handed with paint because you don't want it to go under your stencil. Make sure your stencil is flush down to the page and your paint, your um, cosmetic brush or your cosmetic sponge isn't overburdened with paint that it's just going to make a nice light layer. It doesn't have to be bright, it just needs to be the hint of this mandala. So I'm just going to stencil this on. And then what I like to do is take and tip in another color like the darker pink and now start to go second layer really lightly just in some spots on it. So now you're getting two tones of pink in there. And then it's just not so flat. I'm, I like lots of different colors instead of just one flat color. And when this is dry, you can take a paint pen and you could um, zentangle or make little patterns inside those parts of the mandala. I might even do that. Just do some doodling. And of course, I'm going to put my words on the page. Oops, I moved my stencil a little. I'm lining it back up. A little extra pop of pink in a few places. Not all over it, just a few. And purple. Do I want to do purple? Eh, I'm going to do just a tiny, tiny bit of purple. Like it's only going to be hints of it in a few little spots because I really don't want purple to overtake it. Perfect. Okay, so there is my stencil and I'm going to let that dry. Okay, so here is my completed layout. Um, I did add more of the stencil mandala. I used a pink Posca pen to outline the pieces of the mandala, then a black to go around each one. Let me hold it closer so you can see that. So it's outlined in black and pink. And then I did my words, find joy in your day, make art. So I've been having a lot of uh, medical tests and things that are not so fun the last few weeks. And I just, I've had the blues and said, okay, I need to go make an art journal page because it does make me feel better. So I'm finding joy in my day. I'm making art. So there is my final layout. So look at what happened with this ad. This was a Chanel ad. It had um, more women in it and we blocked those out. In the background we used napkin to make beautiful fashion. We added some sparkle to it and some uh, doodling and things, painted angel wings, and some words. And now look at this page. It just makes you happy to look at. So 
Hope you enjoyed watching and hope you will play along and get a magazine and create a create a page for yourself make art so it doesn't have to be perfect it's just for you and it's just fun to play so there will be a list in the drop down menu below hit the little triangle and it'll be a list of supplies that I used and if you're interested in purchasing the supplies there's a link so if you click on that link for the supplies it'll take you directly to Amazon where you can purchase these supplies at a discounted price and you know maybe you don't have some of these things like uh, Posca pens or Faber Castell markers or if you are interested then there is a quick and easy link of where to find all the products that I used on this layout. So thanks for stopping by. Go make some art because art soothes the heart.